Elisabetta. <laughs> Come join the procession. Come join the fun. <laughs> when I said I didn't think there'd be many people here, I wasn't expecting this many. I guess this far is. <coughs> it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. <coughs> is she coming? Oh, there she is. Come along, it's mass time. <laughs> Maybe he went out to the front to grab the things. I don't know, he was in the middle of that. He did it? Oh. He can't buy low coat. Oh, that's true. All right, you good, do it. Good, good. You've done everything else. You might as well let her. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> and our opening hymn can be found at number 219.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Today's Mass is being offered for Reverend Thomas B. Corcoran. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life. 
our Lord, Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, this is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May God bless us in his mercy. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. the shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Lord Jesus Christ. Happy New Year (laughs) and happy feast of Mary, the mother of God. This title, Mary, mother of God, is an amazing title. It seems like it would be an impossible thing to be the mother of God. And so it's good for us to remember back in the early church in the year 431, The church was divided. Some people said Jesus is truly God. And others said Jesus is truly man. And he was truly human because he died and only humans can do that. He sacrificed himself for all of us as a free gift for our salvation. And he did really need to be human to be able to do that. Then on the other hand, there were some people at that time who said, no, Jesus is Emmanuel. He is God with us. He's visited his people. He has come. And if he were not God, then he would not be the Messiah. So the church teaching from the beginning has always declared that Jesus, as God, has two natures, that he is fully God and fully man. And one way that we know that someone is truly human is that they have a mother. Everybody was born of a mother who is here, correct? So... We can say that Jesus is truly human because he, is, he has a mother. And if at the same time he is truly God, then that does mean 
that Mary has this amazing title, the Mother of God. So when this council was finished convening, it was officially declared that this was a church teaching and there was peace because of it. The church was able to be unified and experience that concord again. I remember growing up when I was a kid, there were some people who had doubts about their faith and religion and they would say to me something like, well, I was born Catholic so it doesn't mean anything. If I had been born in China, I would be a Buddhist. Or if I was born in the Middle East, I would be Muslim. Or if I would, was born in India, I would be Hindu. So that was a comment that I heard where people just said it didn't matter. You know, it all depends on where you're born. But now we are experiencing a world that is at war. <clears throat> and we have a world that is more interconnected than it ever has been. It feels like it's becoming smaller in some ways. We can see for ourselves that it is not the case that all religions are the same. That's not true at all. For example, in the Muslim world, there's a lot of division and there's a lot of war. It's happening in those places where that religion is prevalent. And there are people in that area who are not being treated with respect, who are not being found worthy of respect as a part of their religion. It's even true of people of the Jewish faith. It seems like there's a lot of problems there too. And not all Jewish people, but some Jewish people act that way. They don't see their enemies as being human. We think about all of those other religions other than Christianity. They don't see women as being equal with men. They don't treat them with that respect and the dignity that they deserve. For example, in places like China and Japan and India, Women are not afforded that equality. They're not treated in that way. They don't have that unity and that peace among men and women in those places in the world. But with the Catholic Church, we have this teaching that Jesus is both fully God and fully man, and that translates into a respect for all people. We see from Jesus this development of world peace. We see this high respect for one another and even technological developments, political strength, and even prosperity. Yesterday, Father Sean led a group of us to Midnight Mass with Cardinal Sean. And there was one young woman with us who is deaf and blind. And she spends most of her time stuck at home. And she really wanted to go with us. And so Father Sean said, okay, why don't you come with us? And 
we were able to interpret for her and Father Sean drove her back home in the middle of the night practically far, far away where she lives. And <clears throat> we got back at four o'clock in the morning. And Father Sean got back at four o'clock in the morning after doing all this. So it's a great thing that he did all of that for this one person. And that person was able to experience that joy and happiness. And that is the kind of love that comes from Jesus born of Mary. Mary is also our mother. And she is the symbol for the church. When we are born in our baptism, we are born of our Holy Mother Church. And Mary gives life to Jesus, which in turn gives life to all of us. We all have the hope of faith and love that we will begin this new year in that way. We ask for the intercession of Mary for this new year. Let us profess our faith in the creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray. For our Pope, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our President, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Karen, Elizabeth, for Colleen's family, all oh, the Coleman family, for Arthur, Marie. And for Adelaide, we pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. And for Jenny, we pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our beloved dead, Mary, 
we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and ever-living God, we pray to you with confidence as we acknowledge our weakness and unite our prayers to the prayers of St. Jude, St. Joseph, and especially the Blessed Virgin Mary, who is the mother of God. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Justice, cry. 
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, the praise and glory of his name, our good and good of all his holy church. O oh God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and, and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the motherhood of the blessed, ever Virgin Mary. <coughs> For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten son. And without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The 
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held this worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Sean, our Bishop, Robert, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember <coughs> also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. On your stay, we told us back our misere nobis. On your stay. Great all is back on 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked upon his handmaid in her lowliness. For behold, from this day forward, all generations will call me blessed. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today. Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life. For we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever-Virgin Mary, mother of your son, and mother of the church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Bow down for the blessing. May God, the source and origin of all blessing, grant you grace, pour out his blessing in abundance and keep you safe from harm. 
throughout the year. Amen. Amen. May he give you integrity in the faith, endurance in hope, and perseverance in charity, with holy patience to the end. Amen. Amen. May he order your days and your deeds in his peace. Grant your prayers in this and in every place and lead you happily to eternal life. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Our closing hymn can be found at number 203. We will sing verses 1, 2, and 6. <clears throat> Sing with us, he said.